For this question, we have a Ferris wheel and we're uh, writing a sine equation to model that. So what I would do with this one is I would start off with a, a diagram and um, just identify that we have a Ferris wheel. Uh, it, we're told that it has a diameter of 20 meters. So let's mark the radius as 10. We're also told that it centers 15 meters above the ground. So let's draw ground here and some kind of contraption holding it up and 15 meters there. And so we can use that information. We can stop and say, okay, so 15 and another 10 means that the maximum height, if you're at the very top of this Ferris wheel, uh, would be 15 plus 10. And then 15 minus 10 would bring us down to five meters above the ground and with our center being here at 15. So uh, that's not a bad start. Let's see what that might look like on a graph. And so we establish our graph and here's our height and here's our time. And so uh, we're told that we're looking at a sine graph. So sine graph, and we're also told that the person gets on the Ferris wheel at its lowest point at time is zero. So time is zero here at its lowest point. So that means that it must be five meters at time is zero. And let's draw that in at 15 meters. And so let's just draw a, a little bit of a sinusoidal graph from there. And something like that. All right, uh, up here 25 again and here at 15. So we've got a bit of a start on where we're going with this. Let's see what other information we have. So we've looked after the 15 meters revolves ah, once every 300 seconds. So we're, our time is in seconds in this case. Uh, so 300 seconds, about five minutes, I guess, five minutes. And so we can say our period uh, is 300 seconds. Okay. And we also know that um, our coefficient there, or our n, would be 2 pi over our period or 2 pi over 300, or I guess you could reduce it down to pi over 150. All right, so there's another step in the right direction. Um, I guess the only thing that we haven't dealt with is the phase shift here. Um, and we drew right onto our graph there based on what was happening at zero, so perhaps uh, it might be helpful to stop and say, well, what would a normal sine graph look like? Well, we remember that a normal sine graph would cross through like that. And so uh, zero when it's zero there. And so what we could, would do is we could stop and say, w what we did was we shifted over. So it looks as though we could go from there to there. So let's go with the closest one is there. And so really we're shifting to the right by a quarter of this period, right? So if we were to break it down, we could say there, 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 there. And so we're shifting to the right a quarter of the period. So shifting to the right by, uh, again, our period was 300 over four, a quarter of the period. So that comes out at 75 seconds. All right. So that should set us up for making this equation now. So our height, and we can say in terms of t if we wish here, equals, and so let's come up with our uh, amplitude out there. So that would be our 10, the radius of that Ferris wheel, and then a sine. And then we have our coefficient there, which we can bring down our n. And so we could say, pi over 150, and then we can put another set of brackets and we can say we have our time there, our variable, 
and we are shifting to the right by 75 so that means we stick that in there 75 and good there now uh, as far as vertical shifts well we certainly shifted from 0 up to 15 so we would add a 15 at the end and there we go there's our equation